Okay, this is impossible. I have counted the numbers of cycles in all of these graphs. I can just connect prove that there are exactly this many cycles in these graphs. How else can I prove that they're not isomorphic? I'm going to fail this assignment. In other words, that's not worth my time. I tried everything, tracing that manually, listing all possible routes. There just has to be a better way. I even tried adjacency matrices, which are just a bunch of ones and zeros. Did you know what right? The Constitution says you do. So do I. I believe I'm proven guilty. Every algorithm deserves a fighting chance. And that's why I fight for you. Dude, who are you? My name's Saul Goodman, and I'm here to tell you, you don't have to suffer through counting manual cycles like some kind of math peasant. Better call Saul. Let me guess, they gave you this fancy graph, told you to count all the cycles, and left you to die in mathematical misery. Exactly, there are too many paths to trace manually. Cycle counting is for chunks, but here's what they don't tell you. The adjacency matrix is your secret to cycle counting freedom. But it's just a bunch of ones and zeros. Just ones and zeros? Just ones and zeros? My friend, that matrix is pure gold. What if I told you that the trace of powers of this matrix can help you reveal all the cycles without having to do a single path by manual labor? That sounds too good to be true. See, when you raise your adjacency matrix to the power of k, the element ij tells you the number of walks of length k from the vertex i to the vertex j. And when i equals j, that Almost a cycle count, baby. Subtract the non-cycle closed walks, then divide by some factorial terms to account for multiple closed walks representing the same cycle, and boom, you've got yourself a cycle count. Wait, that's actually brilliant. Look, counting cycles in graphs doesn't have to be a federal offense. When matrix powers and trace operations are on your side, you're not just solving problems, you're breaking math. This actually works. I can see all the three cycles, the four cycles. So remember, when graph theory's got you down, and counting cycles got you running in cycles, you better call Saul. Call Saul. Saul Goodman, attorney at law, 505-164-C-A-L-L, 505-164-C-A-L-L.